Hey, what's up guys? Your average war gamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And today, I'm going to be featuring Tier 8 Premium Aircraft Carrier, that is Enterprise. I would say that the Enterprise is one of the best aircraft carriers for this rank battle season, simply because it has all tools to deal with all classes in this game. The rockets, as you can see, it has four attack runs. This is unlike any carrier in this game. And you do have HRs. And these rockets have also pretty decent free firing time of 3.4 seconds, which means that you can be an absolute nightmare against destroyers. Now, I'm not remembering if I'm managing to get Kitakaze pretty much down and out with these rockets. But I can tell you one thing. If you use these rockets on destroyers, you can do a lot of damage with them because these are pretty accurate rockets as well. It's just that you have to aim it better. Now in this case, I'm actually trying to aim the Kitakaze, but I think my aim is not gonna work here since this, there is an island. An island actually caused a bit of my aim to be slightly off. And hence the reason why I didn't manage to land some good rocket hits on Kitakaze. But never mind, I can try to drop this Kitakaze again. And you can see that in the second try, that I will hopefully able to do some damage. Again, two rocket hits, but I was okay because I'm spotting the Kitakaze for some decent time. Anyways, the Kitakaze, I don't know what he's saying, but uh, he is definitely kind of pissed that I was farming that Kitakaze, which is understandable. But another main selling feature of the Enterprise is that uh, you do have insanely good region time of these planes. I mean, if I can show you the rocket's region, it is insanely low, 46.6 seconds for a rocket to come back into the deck. That seems to be kind of nuts. And you can see here that even if you maybe throw a couple of, uh, you know, uh, rocket planes away by some AA, you're going to be still just fine. Now, in this case, we also have Yorktown, which is a tier 8 tech 3 aircraft carrier, um, an American one. And I would say that's also really powerful, like really, really good. But anyways, I'm just gonna go and drop this Kitakaze here real quick. He will smoke up, he realizes the situation. Now, I'm dropping the Kitakaze here in some weird angle. But still, as you can see, I did some 2000 damage on this Kitakaze. And I was pretty okay with that. Even though the Kitakaze now in smoke, I know that uh, he basically have to use or get forced to use smoke in this situation which feels pretty good. Now, this game is going to be pretty, pretty tough for me at the end because our team will decide to completely throw it away. And you will find out that why Enterprise is really powerful. Uh, I was also trying to use my last attack run on Yorktown simply because I want to CV snipe him at the end. Since you know that the carriers have the highest game impact in the late game. And if you nullify that game impact by just killing him altogether, you have more chances of winning. And this is something that I usually do. I basically hit and run on a Kitakaze as a first target, and then I just use my last drop on a carrier. And this this works pretty insanely well. And you will keep that poor Yorktown spotted as well, unless he smokes up, which I don't know why he is not doing it at the moment. But still, nevertheless, our Musashi and Kitakaze are playing a bit bad, I would say and they will eventually die, which exactly going to be, to be the case. But anyways, that's not something that I want to talk about. But I want to talk about not only these rockets are good, these torpedo bombers are also very impressive. They have a better arming distance than tier eight tech three aircraft carrier Lexington. Its arming distance is 338 meters. That is insanely good, honestly. And Lexington has maybe 50, 60 meters higher uh, arming distance compared to Enterprise. That's also a main selling feature of the Enterprise. Its arming distance is definitely better. Now I'm trying to keep the Kitakaze spotted and hopefully our Velos, someone will eventually be able to kill him. And Yorktown did managing now to smoking himself up. Uh, and that's the reason why you can see that the smoke is basically covering him out at the moment. This is something that uh, is actually very powerful in if, if you ask me. Now in this case, I was trying to kill the Yorktown again since I know that if I keep maybe dropping a couple of uh, torpedo salvos or rockets onto that, 
he will eventually will be in a very low uh, in terms of his HP and eventually will die and that's the, exactly the reason now there's also one thing that I really like about Enterprise that you do have some flexibility whenever you are using your torpedo bombers now if you wiggle up here and there during the attack run obviously the torpedo reticle or torpedo aim will slightly spread but not a whole lot to be honest this is something that you should also keeping in mind and it will work a lot better for you i mean if you are trying to maneuver uh, to get the perfect uh, broadside of a battleship or in this case a carrier you can actually do that in enterprise again another feature that uh, you should be knowing if you don't know you should try that it, it does really work wonders again i'm using torpedo bombers i mean i could have used the ap bombs on yumahari but the trick is pretty simple here i want to basically try to drop a you know salvo of torpedo bombers on yumahari and get a salvo on maybe a cv but in this case unfortunately yumahari actually getting smoked up um it kind of sucks because i want to drop two torpedo salvos which basically gives me the highest uh, amount of uh, you know damage that you can do in just a single attack run certainly right now it's not the case Yumehari also have a fighter planes so i decided not to basically drop him even though he gets out of the smoke and i was keep working on killing this yorktown and you can see here yorktown doesn't have a lot of hp right now he's pretty low at the moment and if you keep dropping him at the moment you know that he will be low pretty much now in this case he is now trying to turn in and actually someone is shooting him as well and he's basically got down to almost 16,000 HP left so what I will try here I will try to get my perfect aim on this poor Hawktown and hopefully will managing some torpedo hits and at the end of the day if I kill him I don't know why I didn't managing a torpedo hit on the on the Yorktown that did not work well because if I would have got three torpedo hits a flood would have killed him I'm sure he is pretty low at the moment but anyways I'm just gonna go and drop the Yumehari Yumehari is pretty low and uh, what I want to do here is that I will drop the Yumehari uh, my first drop will be for Yumehari and then a couple of drops maybe for Yorktown so that I eventually kill him this is the chain strike that can be potentially devastating if the carrier understands what I'm gonna do here like if the enemy CV knows that I'm, I'm doing this to basically get the full damage output it could be pretty devastating and in this case I'm dropping Yumehari again you can see I'm dropping a rockets on this Yumehari and Yorktown even though he put the fighter plane on top of himself but I don't really mind I just got 10 rocket hits on its flat superstructure put the plane but Yumehari is constantly moving forward so I'm sure that, sorry, not Yumihari, the Yorktown is moving forward. So I'm sure that the Yorktown will eventually die. Now he only has 3000 HP left. So I know that this is going to be a death for a enemy carrier. And that's something that you should do if you are playing rank battles. It, it, it can be pretty devastating for the enemy team if they lose a carrier. Now in this case, Yorktown is gone. He didn't able to smoke up. He should be smoking up at the moment. But he didn't done that. We actually lost Zaiton. And now they have three battleships remaining. But fortunately enough, we do have Velos as well as Missouri. Now I'm sure the Missouri with that much low HP uh, isn't gonna last forever. I'm sure he will die. I only did 44,000 uh, damage, right? And you might be thinking that how can you pull this game back? They do, ha they do have two points. Oh, sorry, two, yeah, two caps. They do have two caps. They don't have much ships right now how is it going to be a pull well the you know there are a couple of things that you should know aggressive positioning and situational awareness if you know what you're doing in a carrier i can tell you that the carriers have insanely high game impact just exactly for that now in this case i am dropping torpedo bombers on ohio and this arming distance that uh, Enterprise have with these uh, torpedo bombers, you can see that I basically pinpoint drop this Ohio, oh, sorry, Georgia, and I get some decent damage. Again, Georgia does have decent A, but well, that's okay. Enterprise does have some tanky planes, and I think Georgia will eventually take another torpedo salvo, which basically means that he cannot heal back a lot of HP now, since these torpedo bombers does Citadel damage if they hit onto the uh, Citadel belt armor, right? So. 
yeah, Georgia have taken some decent damage, but it's not gonna be enough, and the Georgia is gonna be pain to deal with, cause he can definitely rush at C cap and will try to get the cap as soon as possible, and also eventually kill me, right? But you can see that the fast region time of uh, not only rockets, you can see here it's 46 seconds, for torpedo bombers it's 57 seconds, will help me a lot, and these are not a whole lot of ships in this game, right? I shouldn't be having any issues whatsoever. So I just dropped the Georgia with one rocket strike and I'm gonna do another strike and during that attacks I'm also, you know, breaking, or at least permanently breaking, it's uh, some of the AA that he needs right now. Like, I don't know why this mechanic exists that you actually can shoot down some of the secondaries and AA permanently for the game. Uh, I mean, that seems to be a bit too, you know, stressful for a battleship to see, or any ship to see, but uh, that's the mechanic that I don't like. But it is in the game, unfortunately, and, well, battleship is gonna face that music, regardless from this carrier. And right now, I'm doing pretty well in Enterprise. Now, you can see here that the Georgia is trying really well to dodge the torpedoes, and I knew that as well, that he's gonna do something about it. But, uh, well... He's turning in. I'm sure that uh, the torpedo dispersion is pretty good. So one torpedo hit will be good enough for me as well. And I can land a couple of torpedo hits. He's gonna turn out, which is exactly something that you should do. Trying to dodge as much torpedoes as possible. But I'll drop this guy with all three torpedoes intact. And well, I will definitely going to get at least one torpedo hit. One torpedo did an arm, but Again, I have almost full rocket squad, you know, that will actually kill Giorgio. So, dropping some torpedoes after that, I'm using these rockets. Now, I mean, he can try to angle against these rockets, but it's not that difficult to hit them on superstructure. And you can see that I got seven rocket hits and also killing its AA. I permanently killed one AA module and it does help a lot in its uh, AA. Uh, getting a bit uh, less powerful against his planes. This is exactly the case. Now, I got another A kill, which is nice. I got two modules uh, permanently killed on, on Georgia. Now, I haven't used AP bombs in this game, unfortunately, because there are not a whole lot of situations that I want to use it. And in this case, I also eaten a flag. And Georgia is trying again and again to basically dodge these torpedoes. Drop the bombs. I got one Citadel is and get 7,000 damage. I mean, obviously, uh, if you don't get much Citadel hits, it's gonna be a bit tough to get more damage out of these AP bombs, and that's the reason why I'm not using it a lot. But you can see here now, the damage is a lot much more than what it previously was once I killed the carrier. It was like 43, 45,000 damage. Now, it is more than that. It's almost 112k damage, which is pretty good. And you can see that I'm slightly maneuvering during the attack run. And even then, the torpedo are still pretty good. You can see here, the Georgia is not having enough HP. 254 HP, he was trying to rush me. This is something that uh, eventually killed these battleships pretty quickly. And in, this is not the exception. Like, Georgia is not the exception. We still don't have much points. They do have two caps, right? And Velos is doing great job. This Velos is actually helping me a lot in winning the game. Because Yumihari does or not, I think he knows that Velo's position because he's, you know, sending those uh, submarine depth charges, uh, planes towards, uh, you know, that area so that uh, if the AA turns on of the Velo's, they will actually show that they are shooting down something uh, which gives some visual effect and gives the location of Velo's approximately. But that's not the case happened. Uh, Yumihari is still kinda in a weird position and I know that Yumihari does get citadels uh, from these AP bombs so I'm just gonna use them now and well Yumihari is actually turning in uh, something that you should really not know uh, I mean you should not really do because AP bombs are gonna be a lot much more effective if I just drop it like this and well uh, unlucky uh, that, this is one of the things that I don't like about Enterprise the AP bombs RNG can be a bit too much. And here, I'm dropping the Yumihari again. Yumihari does not have really good AA. So I don't have this fear that I might not get uh, the second strike. This is exactly 
what's going to happen eventually. So I got the one penetration and I killed the Yumehani, which seems to be pretty nice. They do have 930 points, but uh, well, the game is now starting to get under control because Ruperict cannot be uh, in the two caps at once. That's not possible, right? And the, kid, the Kitakaze is still in the game and he's saying report CV. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you play well in carrier, a lot of people in World of Warship can be triggered. So just watch out for your reports because this is exactly what's going to happen. They will definitely report. And I was saying in the chat for playing good, should I be reported? And just uh, saying some meaningful things, but they don't understand. Uh, some people might say that you are playing very, very broken class in the game. I can understand that, but uh, these are all tools that Enterprise has. Wargaming is allowing players to use, to utilize. I'm not the guy who is trying to utilize these uh, things, right? They are in the game, fine, right? And you can see here, I'm dropping some good rockets on this uh, Rupert. He damage controls. And I'm still using rockets because they are very fast and drop to the target very quickly. And you can see I'm dropping this guy again. And it's pretty easy to get hits on the superstructure. I get a permanent fire. So if I would have gotten enough time, I would have killed even the Rupert. So yeah, that's, that's really strong Enterprise really gets. At the late game there's no carrier to deal with enterprise becomes even more broken so decent credit earning since it's a premium it's a rare ship for a reason 132k damage three kills two citadels didn't use a lot of you know bombs use more torpedoes and rockets and that does the job for me team score wise 1.9k base xp pretty good i was happy with the results and thank you guys for watching uh, i hope you get some tips and tactics from this enterprise game and if you have one, definitely play it. And if you don't have one, I think the next ship that you should be grinding or at least try to have is Yorktown because Yorktown is also a really good pick for ranked battles. Honestly, it is really nice. If you want to use Yorktown in, uh, in the ranked battle season, try it out. It is really good. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like the gameplay. And if you do, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will catch you into the next one. Peace out.